new law in Ohio is aimed at reducing the state's record high fatal overdoses from heroin. 27 First News reporter Jeff Left Coolidge has more on a free program for addicts and their families that could save their life. Linda Spy's son Max began his addiction with heroin eight years ago while in high school. After the age of 19, um, he couldn't live here anymore with me because my, large, my biggest fear was I would find him dead in his room. Kim Webb's son Doug is in recovery now but has overdosed once on heroin. But thanks to an antidote, Narcan, that only targets opioids in the user system, he is alive today. Where did he get the Narcan out? Of? Hospital. He, whoever he was with, a young lady, dropped him off at the hospital. He was dead when they brought him in and they revived him with the Narcan. Now, thanks to a new Ohio law, Narcan or Nerlaxone can be administered at home. Opioid users and their families like Kim and Linda can get free kits through Project Dawn. That's the difference between life and death. That's what that means to me. And my son's uh, significant other, she passed away of a heroin overdose in his arms and she might not have passed away either if that was available. Those who want a kit must be trained first on how to administer naloxone. Kim and Linda tell me they both plan to go through the training soon so they have a kit on hand in their homes. Linda says Max, who has been in recovery the last two years, is finally allowed to come home. But I would still keep one. You never know. With addiction, it's one day at a time. He's good today, but you don't know what br tomorrow brings. This is a big trigger area for him. For more information on how to get the free naloxone kits, you can call the Trumbull County Mental Health and Recovery Board at the number on your screen. In Cortland, Jeff Left Coolidge, WKBN 27 First News.